RAZ 2019-13, Ms. Molly. Good evening, thank you. This is a request to rezone approximately 56 acres on Valdell Road from R1 to residential plan development. The subject property is located approximately a third of a mile south of the Nelson Hill subdivision, but on the east side of Valdell Road. It is adjacent to the south of the recently rezoned Valdell 61 planned development. PD zoning is listed as a permitted zoning within a suburban character area, which the subject property is depicted as in the comprehensive plan. And the lots shown on the master plan are on average just under a half acre and will be served by county water and sewer. For the county engineer, Valdell Road is able to handle the increased traffic that would be created. The TRC considered the request at its September 24th regular meeting and had no objectionable comments. And staff finds the request consistent with the future development map and with the community goals of the comprehensive plan. That is the current master We just got an update. Hard okay. so copies were provided. Yes, it was on the update version. Correct, that was the update. I mean, on your. Yeah, that's updated. The screen is the old one. Right. You have the updated one. Okay, so this is, what was this to play? That was the previous. Okay. You have the most current. All right. Are there any questions for staff? I'll add a couple of questions. Uh, the one we the one we approved last month was how many lots were that? On Valdez Road. You remember how many lots? Yes, lots? that was fifty-eight lots. Fifty-eight lots. And this is going to border this the exact same subdivision. It is bordering it. However, there is a utility easement, hundred and twenty-five mm -hmm. foot electrical. And the amount of loss in this new proposal we have today is 120. Twice the acreage. And the size of these? These, these lots are just under a half acre on average. So the density is lighter, actually, as far as the lot size. Yeah. Okay. TRC. Is this to be completed in stages or phases? Or no? This is the master plan for these lots. Okay. I guess my question was is we're going to come in all in one phase or is it slated to come in in various stages? I don't know that that has been determined yet. Okay. Anyone tonight wishing to speak on behalf, please come forward. State your name and address, please, for the record. Yes, I mean, 
this is the one we have. The one on our screen was not the same, but so this is you got the same. We got the next one. We got the new one, but we had one on screen or something there. Um, we propose to develop 123 lots in subdivision per the plans that y'all are looking at. And you can see the, the different size lots. The smallest lots there are going to be the 9,600 square feet, the 18 by 120 for the smallest lots. But you can see when you average them out, you're closer to a third of an acre. The intention is to build homes approximately 2,000 to 2,200 square feet, and you'll be looking at home prices ranging from 235 to 259. That's the plan. Um, I have brought some pictures of houses that were constructed by the developer, and they're similar in size and style to so what it's intended to be constructed out there. And I'll just draw this so I can pass around. Please. Okay. Thank you. Jack, you might have asked you a question on this. Yes, so, where, I mean, as you said, the 9,000 square feet lots, where are the half acre lots? 9,600 are the smallest, of those toward the middle. If you look at the top, is, is, is that the two long straight sections of 9,000 square feet? The sections in the middle are 9,600 square feet. So, it's just the ones on the outside wetlands area? Right. The ones you can see along the top are about 0.4. Um, or I can <laughs> okay, if you start on the road to the, on the north side of the map and you pull into the proposed neighborhood on the left side, all of the lots are 24 1. When you get down to the cul de sac, you're looking at half acre 0.84. And you continue around the neighborhood, you're looking at quarter to a third of an acre on the far east side, and then when you turn the corner and you're headed back out of the neighborhood, yes, sir. then you got anywhere from a half acre backing up the wetlands, and then a quarter acre, two tenths, all the way out. Out of, out of the 123, 100 of them probably the 9,000 square feet? Well, there aren't any that are 9,000 square feet. There are several that are 9,600. So, like 80 by 120? 80 by 120, that's right. And, and I can't tell you. I mean, I tell you, if you look at that middle section, then the majority of those are the 80 by 120. And, you know, more can I do about what those dimensions can live, but I'm told that the houses, the pictures that I passed around are comfortable. Um, so back to the question I had for staff, um, is this proposed to go in in phases? Um, and if so, what is the time frame for that? Well, it has been discussed to do in phases and it's been discussed to do it at one time. They mm -hmm. weren't ready to commit to one or the other. The last I was told the intention was to do it in a couple of phases. So okay. that, is, that is likely to happen in phases. Okay. Traffic surveys We've inquired about the current traffic studies, mm -hmm. and we understand that under the current traffic studies that DOT is conducted there, and there is capacity, and building these lots, building out this subdivision, will not take it over the capacity that DOT is currently. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
that's taken into account following the 50 that were approved last month? That is correct. <coughs> Based on the county engineer's response at the TRC. Are there any other questions for our speaker? Thank you, Ms. Is there anyone else here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of this request? If so, please come forward. All right, if not, is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? Please come forward. Please take your name and address for the record, please. Jimmy Where do you live in relation to the property we're discussing? I live in Riverside Subdivision, which is between that the proposed property in town. <clears throat> so the traffic coming from that subdivision comes in front of ours. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just I don't know the DOT rules, of course, but uh, I'm here to tell you that the current situation, uh, traffic-wise, is, is, is really not acceptable. Um, there's a lot of traffic particularly early in the morning when everybody's trying to get to work. And when you're leaving our subdivision, you're looking at car after car after truck after car coming by. And uh, it's backed up from the traffic like there, sometimes all the way to our subdivision. And I'm not so concerned about the time. I mean, I'm not that worried about it. But what I am concerned about is the safety. I mean, if something is not done about that traffic situation, there's going to be some bad wrecks. There's absolutely nothing that slows traffic down coming down at about that road until you get to that stoplight. So you got people coming across that front of our subdivision at 35, 40 miles an hour, separated by 50 feet. And, you know, something's going to happen. So, you know, adding another 180 households, you're talking about three or 500 cars in that same little stretch of road doing the same thing, you're not going to be safe. I mean, you're really paying the fire to, to not do something about that road. That's a little two-lane road that has no children on it. There's no egress. If there's a wreck, you can't get off of it. You want to the woods and ditch. It's just not a safe situation. Do we have any questions for our speaker? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. Is there anyone else here tonight wishing to speak against? Come forward and state your name and address. My name is Rusty Ingram. I also live in group case. Uh, subdivision, same location as uh, Mr. Files. Uh, I may have a question of, I uh, understand you just approved 50 some odd lots, 58, 58 lots, two or three weeks ago. Well, we recommended approval. You recommended approval. And if I understand you right, you said there's been a study done since then 50 lots were done to approve these other? Not a study since. The okay. county so, engineer, um, based on the current studies and projecting the additional traffic. So I, I'm, I'm understanding you right that the study was done based on the both sets of lots in, or just the first? The study is based on a total traffic, what the, tr the capacity is. Okay. I guess. It sounded like the, the, the voice approval based on the 50, but now we're adding another 100. And I'm just wondering if those numbers were included in the, the recommendation. So at some point in time, this one, there would seem like um, how many lots have to be added before enough is enough? 
Yeah, sir. Just my major concern. Uh, as Jimmy mentioned, uh, I don't mean to reiterate that, but um, we're, we're a quarter of a mile from US 41, and we're back traffic. We have to, we can't even turn out because traffic will be backed up all the way to Route Tech subdivision. And if we add another 100 lots onto that, then it's going to be even further. And it gets to the point of somebody having to stop and let you out, and, and that's very unsafe. So, what well, seems to be the busiest time for traffic through there? Is it the Any morning time school traffic? Seven thirty in the morning when, when the school buses come in, in the morning. So anytime from seven fifteen to eight thirty, uh, that's about the same time that everybody from Nelson Hill and from Moody Housing is, is all coming to town. And anybody that, that normally comes into town from about Road. And then in the evening time, it's, it's, it's basically the same situation with, with what we, we don't have a rush hour in Dallas, Georgia, but it, it, everybody starts getting home around 4.30 to 5.30 in the evening. In the morning times are it's just very, very unsafe. And at, at some point in time, something's got to be done about the traffic situation, whether it's four lane uh, and, uh, or, or additional lanes for turning, because if someone is stop to turn left into the subdivision coming from the north. It's just, there's not a place, there's not a bailout lane, and someone's going to get rear-ended there, it's, it's not going to be perfect. So just, just, uh, we shall consider that. Thank you, Mr. Angel. Any That is something that we could discuss with the county engineer. I know that um, Belleville Road is a major collector road, and 3,000 to 6,000 uh, is ADT, which is the annual average daily traffic. 3,000 what? 6,000. And, and what do you consider an abundant traffic? It would be saying, over 6,000. And the county engineer has implied that it is well below 6,000 at this point. Now, I'm confident that as it builds out, that they will have to do more space. Well, and that is based on, uh, I guess, a certain number of miles of Valdale Road, and we're basically talking about a half a mile here. Where it's based on what passes a counter in a 24-hour period. So it's, it's a one spot. Now, where that spot was, I don't know. Well, I can tell you this morning, commissioners, I came that way, and um, the railroad, I mean, the railroad, the uh, red light was red, and I was actually beyond the driveway to go into River Chase. I had not even made it up to the River Chase driveway, so I was a part of that this morning. It does seem like, you know, that, that traffic in the morning is. We have another speaker. My name is Gretchen Quarterman. I live at 6565 Quarterman Road. I drive on Valdell almost every time I come to town. I have three choices. I could come on Venus. No, thank you. Um, I can come on State Road. It's okay, but it doesn't always bring me to where I want to go. I use Valdell a lot because it brings me to my Valdosta Road. I'm happy about some things about this development. It's close to existing services, and it's building back in towards town. It's not continuing to go out away from town. It's coming towards town, and those are good things when we're thinking about development. Um, I like that it's on water and sewer. I'm very concerned about the wetlands impact. Um, I'm very concerned about the density of these lots, and where's the runoff from all of this going to go? Right now, that's well, it used to be timberland, and it held a lot of water. We have a flooding problem in our area, and I'm concerned about the flooding if we add 100 and however many, like 50 uh, new houses here. That's a lot of paving, a lot of rooftops. Where's that water going to go? Uh, is it going to go down River Chase, and, and you know people on the river down there are going to suddenly find themselves underwater? Um, it was compared to Nelson Hill, and everybody knows how much I despise that place. 
Um, Nelson Hill was planned as a PD and it was supposed to have a certain thing with about 13 conditions on it. And when Nelson Hill was finished, I think it has like three of the conditions remain on it. Um, the, the, it's horrible. Uh, so we, we don't need any more Nelson Hills. Uh, so please don't make it that. Um, and could it be profitable at an R21 instead of a PD with a team team lot? I mean, well, all we're talking about here is profit. That's everything is about profit. And could it be R21? It's already R1, so you can make one of your lots. Could R21 be okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have one minute if anyone else would like to speak against the request. Anyone else like to speak against the request? All right, if not, we'll close out the um, audience participation. Uh, do our commissioners have any more questions or discussion? I would say based on the last speaker's comment, is, is there any impact of the way it do you know if there's been a study the impact study? I'm just curious if any of the way there have to be wetland studies. When okay. wetlands are involved, then it is required. So that would come under uh, the engineering. That is correct, right? the environmental study. And there were no objections there. It just, it has to be done. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions or comments, I will entertain a vote. The motion. Madam Chair, regarding REZ 2019-13, a request for rezoning from R1 to PD. Based on staff's presentation and also the fact that PRC considered this request not objectionable, my motion is that we recommend approval to the Lyons County Commissioners on this application. Sorry. We have a second? Second. Okay. That was Commissioner Ball for the second. All right, we have a motion to approve with a second. Do I have any discussion on that motion? If not, all those in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. All those against? Okay, motion carries unanimously. Thank you.